And now comes time for children message. And we start with a jingle. And dear friends, today we will be talking about reading and how marvelous gift that is. And I was thinking and was thinking and thinking about borrowing a book from my granddaughters to show you. And then I said, oh no, we have someone preeminently better suited to talk to you about the gift of reading. And that is our dear elder Nora Lydell, who is a children librarian. And so, Nora, I'm asking you now to help us understand how big gift is the ability to read or share with us some of your uh, beloved books or these. Okay, well, first I have to tell you, I am really, really tired. And I'm really, really tired because I was up all night long reading a book. It was such a good book. It's called When You Trap a Tiger. I kind of feel like a tiger today after reading this book. But, you know, I only was going to read one chapter because that's how it is. You're going to read one chapter, you're going to put the book down, and you're going to go to sleep. But here's what happened. At the end of the first chapter, the girl who was telling the story saw a huge, giant, bigger-than-life tiger in the middle of the road. And her mother, who was driving the car, and her sister didn't seem to see this tiger. But the girl saw the tiger, and she was frightened. And she screamed and told her mother, stop. And her mother stops and says, what's the matter with you? And the girl looks around, and she doesn't see the tiger. So she doesn't want to tell her mother, because she thinks her mother might not understand about the tiger she saw that they didn't see. But she knows who she can tell. She can tell her harmony. And her harmony is her grandmother. And that's a name that some people in Korea call their grandmas. They call them harmony. And her harmony believes in spirits, good spirits and bad spirits. And she thinks that you have to be very careful and good to the spirits so they won't be angry. So the girl tells her grandmother about the tiger and harmony gets very upset. She looks terrified. And she says, don't, don't go near that tiger. It's dangerous, it's out to get me. And, I, and the little girl says, why? She said, because long time ago, I stole some story stars from the night sky and the tiger wants them back. Now story stars, Harmony says that way up in the sky at night, every single star is a story. And all of the stories in the whole world since the world began are up there in the sky at night. And you can just put your hand up and pull one down and read it. And then you can share it with your friends and the people you love. But Harmony was quite upset because she said, some of those stars, those stories were very sad and they could break your heart and make you cry. And she didn't want her family and the people she loved to read those stories. So she went out to steal them. And one night when the tigers who were supposed to be watching and protecting those stories fell asleep and she heard them snoring, she went up to the top of that mountain and she put her hand up and she took down the saddest stories there were. And she put them in the jars. And then she ran and ran and ran and ran and ran until she was so far away from her home in Korea that she could hardly remember it, which kind of made her sad. But she hid those stories and no one knew about them except the tiger. And that tiger found her. After all these years, he had been hunting her and he wanted those stories and Harmony didn't want to give them to him. So that's where the chapter ended. Now, how could I stop reading? Really, 
How can I stop? So I read the next chapter and the next chapter and the next chapter. And it started to get really late and I was getting tired, but you know, Harmony was getting very sick and it had something to do with that tiger. And I couldn't figure out what it was, but I knew that the little girl was going to try to trap it, this dangerous tiger. And I had to keep reading. So I read the next chapter and the next chapter. And pretty soon I had read all the way through chapter 47. I would have read more, but that was the end of the book. I'd read the whole book. Wow. It was really a great book. That's what happens when you read. And I have another book that I'm going to read later. This one is called when tiger comes to tea. Now this tiger looks very happy. So it's okay, this one makes you laugh. So I'm gonna read this after church, but after I have a nap, because I'm pretty tired. But this is pretty short and it has the greatest pictures in the world. This is a good book for you little kids. The other book maybe is good for middle school kids, kids who are a little older. And I have to say, it did make me cry a little bit but it didn't break my heart. So that's about reading. Would you pray with me now? Dear God, we wanna thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the wonderful stories in the world and the people who write them. And we wanna thank you for the teachers, those wonderful people who teach us how to read, who give us the magic of reading that we have for our entire lives. And we wanna thank you for the animals. And especially today, we wanna to thank you for the tigers that make us brave and fierce. And God, we want you to know one more thing, and that is, we love you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you very much. And...